I started hunting when I was 14 years old with my dad. I was not blessed with having a family that taught me how to hunt growing up. This year was my very first time hunting. I was born in a family of hunters. I've only been hunting for 10 years. It's not something I grew up doing. I grew up on a hunting ranch in South Africa. I'd never grown up hunting or shooting any of those things. From 2010 to 2020, there's been a 24% increase in women hunting. Right now, one in five hunters are female. I wanted the personal challenge about giving it a shot. And so I just tried to take baby steps in. I started with archery, started with tagging along with friends. You know, I don't think that you can ever know too much and never stop learning. I'm becoming better at what I do, and I'm really thankful for this community. 2020 was a record year for women buying firearms. So not only do firearms keep us safe and make us feel more protected, but there's so much more you can do with a firearm than keep it in your bedside table for safety. Your freezer's full. You get to spend time in the outdoors, being healthy, sharing that experience with your family and your friends. And there really is nothing better than being able to provide and share in such a wonderful experience. We were able to teach our girls early on about conservation and hunting, from viewing wildlife to camping trips. Everything was done in the outdoors. When they were old enough to hunt, we took them on bear hunts, caribou hunts, moose hunts. I feel like it's super important to continue the hunting legacy in families. It's almost like a lost art. They're going to appreciate being in the outdoors with the people they love, and that's how you're gonna instill in them the art of hunting for future generations. I feel like it's just something that is ingrained in me that I didn't know I had. And I think we all have it in us. It's just something I think a lot of us are afraid to bring out. But it's, it's a group of people, I think, trying to preserve something so special and so innate into our society that has somehow been diminished. It's something really special to continue on. I love spending time with my family in the outdoors. The kids love hunting with us. We do it as a family together to spend time with each other. In my early 30s, I was diagnosed with malignant melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. And I really thought everything that I knew and loved was just done. Luckily, my husband, in the beginning, he'd been begging me for years, babe, let's go hunting. And I'm like, why? He finally talked me into it. I've learned that I can do things that I never thought were possible. I'm tough. And I found out just how tough and how much I feel at home just being outside. So now I get to share that with everybody. Women are more likely to push public lands and the preservation of that. It's very important to us to pass on the traditions of hunting. Being outdoors, spending time together, camping, being in the fresh air, and going in pursuit of an animal is one of the best feelings in the whole world. I am proud to be a hunter. I'm proud to be a hunter. I'm proud to be a hunter. I'm proud to be a hunter. I am proud to be a hunter. I'm proud to be a hunter. I am proud to be a hunter.